Good morning, folks. We'll hit an amazing weather shot, five cool science articles, including stellar mysteries, James Webb, and the more dangerous types of space weather. We'll go rapid fire through those, but first, we're going to look at the last 24 hours on our star. Big departing sunspots, quiet. Big central plasma filament, quiet. We did take an M5 solar flare last night from the new sunspot groups incoming on the left, however. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet as well. So let's take a closer look at the life of the massive sunspots over the last 10 days. You'll see them born here on the left side and surge to pretty impressive size. They managed to gain magnetic complexity at various points, but never made any bigger flares. They are departing the Earth-facing side over the weekend. Meanwhile, the incoming spots announced their presence with another M-class flare this morning, an M5. And I'll go ahead and tilt the 171 angstrom view to see the incoming limb where we can tell there is more coming behind those spots. We'll be watching that closely. Folks, the Goes West camera caught an incredible dust storm racing across New Mexico and across the border. Due to outflows from the extended storm lines coming from the tropical system even further south. Very rare to see a dust storm so easily visible on these satellites. Up next, interesting article about precision identification of new exoplanets that they would have never spotted before. Bright stars are the most stingy when it comes to dimming evidence due to exoplanets. A double dose of stellar rewrites up next. Cepheids are not offering data that support what scientists had expected. And the same goes for neutron stars. This is the one that's more important. Because from an electric and plasma cosmology perspective, their models of neutron stars do not make a lot of sense. Here, 75% of all those model variations go out the window due to the cool nature of the ones they studied. They don't know nova, they barely know stars. Up next, we're going to James Webb and the Serpens Group. An amazing shot with incredible detail from the near-infrared camera, but also something interesting. When we zoom in on the upper left corner, we see several baby star jets aligned. They say that the magnetic fields of the area controlled the direction of the jets coherent in the region, and that is one step closer to the correct electromagnetic formation theories and collapsing molecular clouds. Last but not least, the difference between direct hits and glancing blows. The direct hits, the full frontal shock impact of CMEs blasted directly at the Earth, are quantifiably vastly more impactful than those from glancing blows, ones that hit the Earth but are slightly off-center. This outweighs flare power and other CME characteristics in terms of geo-effective impact. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.